On Vihiga Senator George Haniri, who has been elected six consecutive times after getting into office in a by-election following the death of his father, Nicodemus Haniri, in 1996. At the time, he was just 21 years old. KTN senior political reporter Chris Tyru tells us more on the August House. Vihiga Senator George Haniri also doubles up as a commissioner of the all-important Parliamentary Service Commission. His is a unique story of being the only serving member of parliament who has been elected for six consecutive terms by the voters of Hamisi in the county of Vihiga. <laughs> His political journey started way back in 1996, following the death of his father Nicodemus Haniri. Given that his late father was a close confidant of the then president Daniel Arap Moi and also a member of the ruling party Kanu, the young George Haniri was voted overwhelmingly in the subsequent by-election. Indeed, I was uh, the youngest and uh, up to today I still hold the record of the youngest ever. If you go to the history of uh, the Parliament of Kenya, nobody else has ever been uh, elected since that time or even before that time at my age. Uh, the one that comes next to me is uh, Waihenya. He's called Waihenya, who was elected at 22. At the time, he was a third-year student at the Jersey City State University in the United States studying economics. Of course, yes, in Kenya, my first job was uh, to represent the people of Hamisi in the Parliament of the Republic of Kenya, in the National Assembly. That is my first job, and uh, it is the only job I've done in this country. His plunge into politics and election into the seventh parliament changed his planned career path. When I came, I was, uh, do I was uh, doing my third year, so I didn't have an opportunity to go back and uh, finish studying economics then. Uh, uh, so when I decided to go back to school here, uh, I, my mind and uh, mindset had changed, so I could not continue with economics. I decided to study political science. So I enrolled at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, where I did my first degree in um, political science, after which I enrolled at the University of Nairobi uh, to do my uh, master's. <laughs> Since then, 23 years later, he has not looked back in his political career, having served under three presidents, Daniel Moi, Mwai Kibaki, and now President Uhuru Kenyatta. During the Moi regime, he served as an assistant minister for agriculture, as well as roads and public works. I served in the Moi regime. Uh, Kenyans were not very much enlightened then, you know, the era of uh, social media was not there, FM stations were not there, so Kenyans were not enlightened and um, they didn't understand much. But uh, as much as uh, uh, Moi has been criticized uh, for his leadership, I give him credit for one thing, that he held the country together. We were peaceful for 24 years. Under the Moai Kibaki regime, he bolted from Independence Party Kanu and joined the NAC coalition during the 202 general election and was appointed Assistant Minister for Information and Communication. Coming to Kibaki, uh, to me, I think this is the person who revolutionized this country. Uh, you remember when he took over, uh, the economy started growing and we end up to about uh, uh, 6.5, was it 7 percent growth? Uh, uh, he initiated all these things you're seeing, uh, uh, the bypasses, the thick highway, the good roads, and uh, the railway, and so forth. Those were his ideas. Uh, and to me, he'll go down in history as uh, the president who revolutionized uh, uh, this country. In 2007, he retained his Hamisi parliamentary seat in a massive ODM wave. However, he jumped ship in the 2013 and 2017 elections and joined Musalia Mudavadi's party, the Amani National Congress, ANC, where he was elected as the first senator of the county of Vihiga. President Uhuru found a very good, strong foundation that had been laid, uh, laid uh, by President Kibaki. 
And I think uh, he should have uh, really taken advantage of that to take this country to the next level. But unfortunately, his government has been riddled by a lot of corruption, a lot of nepotism, as you know. So many bad things have happened, theft of public uh, resources, and therefore we have not realized uh, what we hoped to realize uh, in his uh, government because he was elected as a young man and our expectations were very high. Having served from the 7th to the 12th parliament, Haniri says that the quality of debate has gone down due to what he calls the caliber of leaders elected now compared to the 1990s. But subsequently, I think parliament has uh, been uh, commercialized and uh, the highest bidder elected uh, uh, people who stand for nothing, you see them coming to parliament just because they stole money here and there and managed to bribe their way into parliament. So you cannot compare the quality, and this I can say standing anywhere, even on top of KICC, uh, and I want anybody to challenge me on this. So uh, you cannot compare. I think the situation is getting worse and worse. And the parting shot from the career politician and hay of a political dynasty. To tell you the truth, if I were to advise my sons, I would tell them, no, find other things to do, stick to your professions, maybe later in, uh, in your life, if politics remains what it is at the moment. Having served as an MP for Hamisi for four terms and a senator of the county of Vihiga for two terms now, Haniri says he is not done yet, and soon he will be announcing his next political move. Chris Dairo, KTN News.